Stephen, congratulations. You needed extra time to get over the line, but got there in the end. Just sum up what a game it was. Yeah, sometimes it's just important to get the win, to be honest. Um, I won't really look too much into that performance. I'm so happy to, to be over the line and obviously I'll watch the England game tonight. I can relax. I'm checked into the hotel for another week um, and Mark's really happy about that. So, yeah, honestly, I, um, I'm i over the moon. Um, there was a lot of emotions going through that game. There were certain times when I felt like I could just place him in the treble and then there was other times where I felt like I was thrown with my dad's hand. But, um, yeah, I'm so happy to, to get over the line and I'm really looking forward to the next match now. You got yourself into a great position. Brian came back into it to force the extra time. What goes through your mind at that point when he's clawed you back in? I felt like I had the game um, wrapped up, to be honest, and um, there was there was a certain part of that game where he, he sort of sneaked back in and then his finishing became a, a problem for me. Um, but, like I said, it, it wasn't about him, it was about what I did. Um, I tried my best to, to keep my composure, to keep feeling fresh and uh, relaxed and Luckily, the, uh, the the obviously I played on the on the match play stage a lot of times. I know he's been in the world match play before, but it wasn't here. So um, I used that and I used the crowd um, to, to help me through the game. How much are you relishing a showdown, the world champion Luke Humphries now? Oh, I can't wait. Um, obviously, I've got a day off tomorrow. Um, I watch the football tonight. And um, yeah, I'll be back on the practice board tomorrow. Listen, I've got a tough game. I watched his first game, he was fantastic. But um, like he said, it's so difficult to, to do 208 averages on the bounty. You'll probably average 110 now. <laughs> um, but no, no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Listen, who, who doesn't look forward to playing the best players in the world on the biggest stages? And um, it's about showing what I can do. And obviously, I've beat them on, on the big stages before. So um, yeah, I'm quietly confident, but um, it's about getting myself ready and uh, going again. Stephen, congratulations. Thank you. Stephen, you, you turn up at this tournament as a form horse, someone who's, who's played really well this year. Must, must give you confidence that you can, can go and turn over Luke Humphreys in, in a couple of days' time. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm confident to beat anyone, to be honest, but um, obviously the first game when, you, when you're playing and obviously there's been a lot made about England playing tonight as well, so... To go to extra time probably wasn't ideal for the venue, but uh, I'm just happy that it's all done now. I'm through the first round. I can sort of get back to the hotel, chill with the family, um, relax and look forward to, to the next next few days in Blackpool, to be honest. I, I love coming here. It's my uh, second favourite venue and second favourite tournament behind the World Championships. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait now to, to get ready for the next game. Class Luke Humphries is the, the best in the world at the moment? I think you would have to say so, obviously, as well as Luke Little has done and stuff, but um, Humphreys winning winning the Wales um, and just just I feel like he's he's back. His doubles he showed the other day, 108 average. Uh, he's not to be messed with, but um, I like messing with people, so uh, yeah, it's about getting on the on the hockey, getting ready for, for my game, and uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not too worried what he does. If he averaged 75, I'll win. If he averaged 80, I'll win. If he averaged 85, I might struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, you sit here a major champion, and on that run, you beat Luke Humphries. Does that give you a little bit of an advantage? I wouldn't say an advantage, but obviously I've got the confidence that I can beat him. Um, I've done it before, over a long format as well. And we've had a few uh, really good games over the last few months. So, um, yeah, listen, I'd be lying to say that Luke Humphreys won't uh, go off massive favourite. He's a fantastic player. He's world number one. He's world champ. But can I win? Of course I can. And um, that's what I've got to cling to. I'm really looking forward to the game. I've, like I said, I've got a day off. I'll enjoy watching England tonight. And um, yeah, listen, Tuesday's another day and I'll be ready for that game. Is there a different sort of feeling when you come into a tournament and people are now earmarking you as a, a potential person who can lift this trophy rather than just someone who can maybe have a a decent run? Yeah, no, I, I truly believe so. Um, I believe I'm playing the best art of my life. Maybe I didn't show it there, but obviously that game was full of nerves. Um, bad, yeah, no, just yeah, no, I, pr I probably do, but obviously I've not even looked at the stats yet. I was just totally concentrated on trying to win my darts and stuff, and I was so, so nervous throughout that game. Um, even this morning when I woke up, obviously, but in Blackpool, it's the match play. It's one of the biggest tournaments in the world. And if you don't have that bit of nerves in your stomach, then you shouldn't be playing darts. And 
to, to play on these bigger stages is is truly a privilege and I'm trying my best to win each and every event that I play in and uh, yeah listen I'm still in so I'm dangerous Final is, is it coming home tonight is this the final time <laughs> England men bring it home um, I really hope so obviously I'd rather win the match play than England win the, in the Euros but um, Same, yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll <laughs> take I'll take us both winning so uh, yeah hopefully the lads can do it tonight I wish them all the best and um, yeah we've definitely got the squad to do it have we got the right manager? Possibly. Can they do it? Of course they can. Cheers, Let's Stephen. See. Thank you. Cheers. Stephen, last year a lot of your games were by that two leg difference and this time we've done it again. Do you just love playing on that stage so you think I'll still stay here as long as I can? I think, um, yeah, if you watch my games you will probably think that but um, the idea today was to, to have a really big win and get off and um, go back and enjoy the afternoon with the family but um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out like that. I'm, like I said, I'm I'm overjoyed with with the win. Um, I can relax now. I can finally come down off that cloud that I've won, and um, obviously I look forward to getting on that stage again because the crowd again tonight was was unbelievable. All behind me, all singing "Let's Go Bunted Mental," and um, it's such a big part of my game now having the fans and and the, my family behind me. And um, yeah, I I honestly believe I can go all the way, but I need to play a bit better than that. I mean, you definitely got the game. We've seen it in the past, and I've I've seen it firsthand many, many, many years ago. But um, you can see the the upswing of your form from the latter start of uh, sorry the latter end of last year and going into this year. And can you say now, as you said earlier, you've got this form now where you're not just going to be in with a running. You feel like you're going to be top dog. Yeah, maybe not top dog, but I feel like every tournament I play in, I can win. Um, I've got that sort of belief behind me. I've got the right team behind me. I've got my family behind me and all my friends here behind me. And the crowd is, like I said, it's the 12th man. They talk about it a lot at Anfield. And I've been to so many games at Anfield where they've been absolutely awful. And then the crowd's got behind them and they've, they've ended up winning. And that's what it feels like for me. Um, I wouldn't say I'm so much an underdog. Um, definitely not that first game I was favourite. But um, it probably takes a lot of pressure off now playing Luke. I'm underdog. I'm expected to lose. Um, but back against me if you will because uh, I'll come out fighting and I'm really looking forward to the game Thank you very much and good luck in the next Thank game Thank you